Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you some Christmas doodles. I'm actually just going to show you three different ways to draw Santa Claus in this video and hopefully before Christmas I'll get another doodle video up of either just one other character or a few different characters. But I had a lot of fun drawing Santa so I decided to do three different versions of him. Here he is. I'm very, very proud of him. I know he's kind of skinny. It's just like in the movie where uh, it's the other time of the year where he's trying to pack on the pounds. I probably looked through hundreds of Santa doodles and I didn't find a lot of cute ones so I had to come up with a lot of that doodle completely on my own. And these other two, I love this one to death. I love him, love him, love him. He's the cutest thing ever. It is really hard to find cute Santas when you're trying to learn to draw. So hopefully these ones help you. I will color these ones in and I will show you quickly how to draw all three of these Santas. And I just have to put up three fingers like you guys don't know what three is. For my Santa drawings, I use plain white computer paper, a big mini mechanical pencil, make sure you have a good eraser as well. And to color these doodles in, I use twistable Crayola colored pencils. We'll start by getting a good angle over here. Zoom in a little on Santa. Start off by drawing a large oval shape for the head and a rounded rectangle for the body. Then I go in with the rim of the hat. I kind of curve it a little and then bring it out. Curve it a little on the side. Just going to kind of bring that down. And then over here, join it so it looks like it's actually on the head. There's a, like a little shadow in there. The lines that you're using to draw should be very light so you can erase anything away that you need to. For example, I'm erasing part of the head that we drew at the beginning. Then you can make a curved line for the hat. Just bring it up and kind of curve it over a little. Over here, la la la. I don't know why I'm singing. You know, if you have messy lines, just be sure to keep them light and you can just erase that away. The tip of the hat needs to be thinner than the base that's coming out here. And the line right there that's joining shouldn't be too long. I make a cotton ball at the end, kind of a cloud shape. So you just join a bunch of little curvy half circles together. It's really easy. Now we're going to work on the curves of his beard. You just kind of follow the shape of that initial oval that you drew in. This does not have to be perfect whatsoever. Right here is where it joins to the hat. Then I try and place the nose in a good spot. You just make an oval shape for this with a line that stays open at the top. So you want a little gap there. And once you place the nose, then you'll have a good idea of where to put the mustache. An arched line with kind of a swoopy part that gets thinner. You want the bottom of the mustache to be curved, not straight, and you want it to come to about the middle of the nose. I start the other side of the mustache from the bottom. I try and make it about the same shape, um, which I did not. Lots of erasing, that's why we use light lines. I just want to shave your mustache off because you're giving me problems. Once you have the mustache in, you're going to draw a half circle to connect those lines, like so. And then another line that follows the contour of the previous line, and that will be the lips. Then I draw a line across to put a little line down for his teeth. You make a little tongue shape as well, and the rest of that will be colored in black at the end. Then you figure out where you want his face to be and just kind of curve that line in a little so it gets thinner towards the brim of his hat. And do the same for the other side. You're going to start at the mustache and make it go thinner or make it get thinner towards the brim of the hat up there. Erase the initial oval line because you don't want to see that through the beard. You want to get all the lines out from these little guys as well. Oh my gosh, I just erased part of his mustache. What the heck? Also put a little line at the bottom, this will make it appear that he has a chin. For the eyes, just draw an oval. Make sure you leave a circle inside for the highlight and do the same for the other eye. And I usually put the highlight on the same side so he doesn't look cross-eyed. I like to just color these in a little so it doesn't look too weird while I'm finishing the rest of the drawing. Finally, on his face, you do the eyebrows. They should be thicker on the inside. It's just an arched line that joins to another arched line above that. Now you can use the same outfit that I did on this Santa or you can switch it up a little but I'm going to show you how to do it the way I did it. Give him some legs. 
which are just um, lines that kind of curve in as you go down. Put a little line in the middle. Then I put a little line at the top of that. Then you want to make the fur on his jacket, the white part. So that's going to go out a little further than the initial line you put. And when you come to the middle, you're going to kind of angle that up. You want a little triangle. And you're going to make another line there and just kind of curve it the same way as the previous line and do that the same on the other side like so. Clean up any messy lines in there. This line will go all the way up very lightly because you're going to draw a belt buckle on top of this. Then this line will go all the way up as well and it will curve to the side, off to the side and up to the shoulder and then you follow the same idea over here and curve that up to his shoulder. A line across for the belt and then a line above that that follows the exact same contour of the other line. The belt buckle will go out a little more than the actual belt so you can mess with that a little. Erase the lines inside the belt buckle. Put lines inside that follow and make it a rectangle and then this little guy to fasten the belt. His arms come out from his shoulders. The line gets wider as it goes down and then you need to put fur on the ends of his sleeves. Then you make gloves by making that kind of half circle shape with the thumb and the same over here. Put a thumb on the inside and then a glove shape and this glove is bigger than the other but I don't care right now. Finally are his boots which you just put a line across of uh, both of them and you just kind of angle that line down. You want his boots to come out further than his pants do. At the end of the angled line you're going to draw a boot shape that comes out, a boot shape, um, kind of like a half circle and this is terrible because I'm rushing like crazy because my video, it's like 20 minutes of footage for this guy. So then you just fix up the boot and yeah. Okay, cool. So I've covered everything. Then you can write ho, ho, ho or Merry Christmas or anything else you want and make sure that your boots look better than mine and your gloves look better than mine. But that is the basic idea of how to draw this first Santa. The second Santa is much more simple. So if you're a beginner at drawing, this will be really good for you to start off with. Again, we are making two basic shapes, one for the head and beard and one for the body. They're just kind of odd shaped rectangle-ish ovals. At the top of his head you're going to put an elongated oval for the brim of the hat. Erase all the lines out of that. Then you're going to make a triangle for the hat and you're going to place a circle on top of that. Kind of looks like a party hat but it's a Santa hat. I assure you. Then you can go in with the shape of the beard. You want the beard to be a little more than half of the face, so be sure to place that arced line towards the top. At the middle of this, you're going to place a circle for the nose and erase any lines out of that. Then kind of make that into a bow by putting two ovals on the side. This actually is his mustache. Put a little line there and a little line across to make a mouth. You can just do this when you color, but I put in two little lines for blush marks and then two dark circles for the eyes and you don't have to put a highlight I don't all I kind of elongated those but you can make the eye shape whatever you want two ovals for the eyebrows so that was super easy then you can put two little arcs on the side for ears and they're not the same size I know but I am just going along here and then little squiggle lines for some hair so he doesn't look too bald at the top Going down to the outfit, just kind of bring a line out a little and arch it up with a little triangle. And this is going to make his furry collar and go out on the other side. Make sure it goes out further than his actual uh, top. Then you're going to place two lines on either side of this little triangle. Bring them all the way down. Put buttons inside by just making little ovally circles, as many as you want. I put three. And then you bring a fur line across. Then I erase out any of the lines. I'm being pretty messy with this right now, but it's okay. And the arms are the same as the first one. You kind of bring it out from that fur. So you don't go all the way up. You bring it out from here, angle it out. You put some fur at the end of his sleeve. And then the mitten is just really easy this time. It's just a line. You don't have to worry about a thumb if you don't want to, because I didn't. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Okay, and then the fur line. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know why I'm singing either and his mitten there. 
And then his boots this time are just little half circles, so they're very easy. And there you go. There is Santa number two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So he can hear you uh, put a little line in the ear. Fat Santa. Here's the last Santa. He is my absolute favorite. He's the one that gave me the most trouble because I was trying to come up with a body for him that didn't match the others. This one, you start out with the beard. Think of clouds when you do this or cotton candy because that's what it's going to be like. This last one, you kind of curve out like the top of a whipped cream dollop. You can think of whipped cream too. And then it goes back in and curves out. Then you go in with his kind of motorcycle handle mustache. Just kind of do little angles and then like wrap it around to form a point. That will connect to the nose in a minute, but I go to the other side of the mustache and just kind of do the bottom and curve that up to a point and curve it around. Bring it in kind of like yin yang lines. So this kind of reminds me of a yin yang over here. I'm not very happy with this mustache because it looks bigger on that side, a lot bigger. It looks too lopsided. A little bit better, I guess. So then his nose is a big honking nose. It's just, it's a honker. Bring it around town and up there. Fix up any lines that you need to. And this mustache side should connect. I want his face to go in more than the beard does, so I start over here and just draw a curved line all the way around to the other side of his nose. And I'm talking like a robot because I try to fill the words in with my drawing speed. Curve here for an ear, and the other ear goes down here. That is rhyming. Weird. I know, it looks a little lopsided at this point, so I'm kind of going to fix that. Include highlights in these eyes. I did on the first Santa as well. You can make his eyes any style you want, but I just do simple ones. And I fill it in while I draw so he doesn't look creepy, as I said. Then I go to the brim of the hat, the little white fluff part. Follow the arch that I drew before with that line of the head. And I bring it behind his ear, usually. His eyebrows will arch up so he looks happy or excited or something. And did I mention I'm not coloring this Santa in yet because I don't want to rush, so I'm going to do it after so my lighting doesn't go away. I'm going to kind of curve a little, go up, and at the end, um, I join it this time to make a little point. His poof ball thing, I kind of make more cottony this time by doing really, uh, see, I just kind of join lines together uh, quickly to make like a cotton ball type thing. His mouth, you just do a curved line and then kind of curve the bottom part up like so. A half circle in there for the tongue and then the rest will be colored in black unless you want to give him teeth but this design of mine does not have teeth. Going on to the body, I do this white puff of his um, outfit like so and just join it like that. From this side of the collar, I just bring his jacket out a little and bring it around. And I bring that up to there. Make sure his fluff up here sticks out more than his jacket does. Then you can make the white fluff on the bottom of his coat. Then over here will be his buttons. So you just draw a line up and put some buttons in. I usually like to angle this back a little more so I kind of am going to adjust that accordingly. Readjust that and bring his fur out a little more. This arm starts just like the other ones we've done. It kind of forms an angle that goes outward. Then you put the end of the sleeve and a little half circle for the, the glove or mitten or whatever. His other arm comes out from this shoulder, which is the line that connects the fluff to the jacket. And it's going to curve a little like so. And the other side's going to be here. So I'll bring that down a little more. And I will put the half circle here because you want it to be lined up with that one pretty much. Put his little glove down here. The toy bag, I start with this little kind of jaggedy three-pronged line over here. I drew the boots in first, so we'll put one line here and just make it curve up a bit. And that's it for the first boot, so you go on to the second one, draw that line, 
make it curve up like the other one and my angles on that were really bad but I'll fix it later. Um, make it curve up and bring a little heel. Don't worry about finishing up that boot and I don't like how mine is either so I'll probably fix it later. But you're just going to bring the toy bag around now. And this is kind of the same idea as the beard. You're going to make it a little fluffy. You can make it as big as you want. This guy, I have more room on this piece of paper so I kind of am making it more fat and full of toys. Not much, I guess. Eh. And I just kind of bring that down and around. And to write toys on it like I did, you just put whatever font you want, which that's my handwriting, cool. Then to make it look like patchwork, I just put a rectangle around it. Go ahead and draw some lines on that to make it look like it's stitched on. And then I put a square on one side to make it look like it has a patch and the lines around and I put a little square over here. You can put them wherever you want but I just go like that. There we have the final Santa. He is my absolute favorite. I hope you enjoyed these doodles. I'm going to color this guy in and show them all colored in so I get a good thumbnail for my video. Alright. Here we have all three Santa doodles. They're very cute. The end. So hopefully these are cute enough for you guys and like I said I will try to get one more Christmas doodle video up. Did you see that we have our tree decorated now? It was empty in the past few videos. It was completely empty. Well, except for like a bunny rabbit ornament and a snowflake, a hot glue snowflake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you draw your own Santa doodles that kind of follow my tutorial, then go ahead and post it on Instagram, my Facebook fan page, or tweet it to me. If you guys have a great rest of the day, check out all my links in the down bar. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Oh, and final note is check out my outfit of the week video on my Sarah Lynn fashion channel and I'll have other videos on there as well that are fashion and beauty and stuff over now. Bye. Uh, I'm coughing still. Yeah, I'm still coughing. La 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 la. I really like this one. I'm gonna say it again. The bears. That's from the Brady Bunch. One, two, tell me who are you? The bears. Three, four, tell me who's gonna score? The bears. Five, six, I don't know the rest or if they said five or six. Ooh, go bears! Oh my goodness. Window cling penguin. Wow. Now there's ornaments up and lights. Lights. Flashing. Lights, lights, lights. That was very obnoxious. Really, really obnoxious to the point where I don't know if I want to rewatch that footage.